What are you committed to? Really, you. What are you actually committed to? You might think you're committed to one thing, to grow your business or make your life better, but I have a feeling you might not be as committed as you think you are. So tonight we're gonna dive in to what are you really committed to and how do you find out what you're really committed to and how do you get really committed to this thing that you desire in your life. I'm Arian Alexander and I'm the Rock Your Life Coach and I work with business women, entrepreneurs all over the world to help create a business and life of their dreams. And this is one thing that I work on in my own life, which I will share a story with you in a little bit about this. And then I work on with my clients as well because everyone comes to me when they want to build their business and they say, I'm committed to building my business and I'm committed to, you know, putting up blog posts and I'm committed to reaching out to people to build relationships. But then sometimes it doesn't actually happen. So what's the disconnect? You want this thing, you desire this thing that's going to build your business and you say, yes, I'm going to do it. And yet you don't do it. So there's a gap. You're, the thing that you want is here and what you're actually doing is here. So there's a gap in the middle. So what's in that gap? Okay, so think about something in your life that you desire to create. It can be something in your business, it can be something in your life, and think about this thing that you really wanna create. So let's say it's your business, let's say you're an entrepreneur, or you have an online business of some sort, or you're a coach, and or you work in a company, and you want to increase your business, you wanna grow your numbers, you wanna have more clients, you wanna make more money. So you do these things to build your business. So for instance, if, you have a, if you're a coach and you have an online business that you, uh, you know, work with people like me, like all over the world, and you do social media and you do all kinds of things. So you wanna create a blog post. You wanna, you wanna have consistent blogs each week. And you go, okay, I'm gonna do a blog post each week. But then each week rolls by and you don't do your blog post. So you say you're committed to doing this blog post. This thing you want is like, I wanna commit, I wanna do my blog post each week, I wanna really get this thing going. But what happens, is you're not doing it. So what's happening in the middle of that? Why aren't you actually doing the thing that you say you desire to do? Well, there's a lot of things in there. Think about what you're really afraid of. Are you afraid of putting yourself out there? Are you afraid of what people are going to think? Are you afraid that it's not going to be good enough? Do you, are you afraid that um, it's not perfect so you can't put it out there yet? What are your reasons? So really sit and think about this thing that I desire and I say I want it, but why am I actually not doing this thing that I say I want? So I'll give you an example in my own life. So I have, um, I, I love to work out and I, and I love to eat <laughs> and, and my whole life, uh, this is my story. My whole life, I've probably had an extra anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds since I was like a teenager, extra 10 and 20 pounds on my frame. So I've always been a big girl. So I'm, I'm 5'10", and I've always been really tall, and I have this big personality. So I've just been this big girl throughout my whole life with this extra weight on. And I'm a little older these days, and I am, I'm kind of done with that story of being a big girl and having this excess weight on my body. So I have, in the last few years, I was like, I'm committed to eating well and really watching what I eat and working out consistently and releasing this weight off my body. But I wasn't doing it. I wasn't actually committing to losing the weight, to actually doing the things that I need to do to lose the weight. And what happened was I would say I want to be fit and trim and lean, but what I was actually doing was not that. I would um, eat clean, but then I would binge sometimes. I would eat clean in the morning, but then by the afternoon I was so hungry and I was like crazy and I needed sugar and I would go binge on sugar. And I would go to the gym and I would work out, but maybe I wouldn't work out as hard as I needed to. So I would always, for years, I was like, I eat really good and I work out, so why can't I release this weight? It's because I wasn't really committed. I wanted to do it, but I wanted something else more. And that's what I call competing intentions. When you have an intention, when you want something, but what you actually do is something else. So it's competing intentions. So for me, I wanted to release weight and live in this body that's super lean and fit and strong. But what I wanted more was to not be uncomfortable. 
was to not have to deal with what to do when I'm hungry, what to do when I have sugar cravings. It's easier to just go eat a cookie and then beat myself up about it and feel guilty than actually sit with myself when I want a cookie and go, okay, what emotional stuff is coming up? Or how do I actually fuel my body differently so I'm not craving sugar? Or what, you know, what is actually happening in that moment when I want to reach for this cookie in this, like maybe I'm stressed or anxious or happy or whatever it is and using food instead of actually going within. So can you relate to this? If you can relate, click your like button and I'm going to look at the comments too to see what you say about where you want things in life and what's actually happening. So type in the comments below, what is this thing that you actually want? Where do you see this show up in your life? Is it in your business? Do you want this thing in your business, but what you're actually doing isn't supporting the thing you want? Is it in your personal life? Do you want to be in relationship or partnership with someone, but what you actually do is sabotage yourself in relationships, or you think thoughts that aren't good enough about yourself? Do you want to make more money, but then what you, you don't actually take the action steps to do it, so you rather stay in your fear around it? Write in the comments what you think you want in the area of life and then what's actually happening. So, and I'm gonna look at the comments in a minute and I'll, um, and I'll definitely talk to each of you. Hi, Lise, I just see some people popping on. So, it's so fun to see my, my peeps and my clients on here. Uh, Elise says, hey, Arian, I hear you. I've been there with other goals. Commitment, so important. Yes, you know the power of commitment and what it takes. And we're gonna get into this in a little bit of what it takes to stay committed. And Elise says, right now I need to fit in more gym time. Yes, so that's, that's a great area where so many people can relate is we want to be fit and we want to be strong and we want to be lean, but we don't actually put in the time in the gym to do it. So we want it, but we're not actually committed to it. So where does this show up in your life? So here's what happened in my experience with my health and fitness is I had someone in my life, I was, I was sharing this with him and uh, about like, yeah, like I know, I know I need to lose like about, you know, 10 pounds of body fat and I just, I just haven't been able to do it. And he said, you're the smartest person I know. He said, you're the best coach on the planet. He said, why haven't you coached yourself in this area? And it was such a wake up call because I went, oh, wow, like this is a blind spot for me. This is an area where I need support, where I'm having, I'm, I've just been in this pattern of thinking I wasn't good enough, thinking I could never do it, I could never live in the body that I desire, thinking that's for other people. I have tons of friends who are super fit and lean and strong and health and fitness experts, and I thought, that's for them, it's not for me. So <clears throat> what I had to do was hire a coach. I finally said, I can't do this on my own, because I knew this thing that I wanted and what I was actually doing was such a disconnect that I would never get to where I wanted to go. So I went, wow, I gotta hire someone to help me with this. I have to hire, a, the coach has to hire a coach to help me with my accountability, to help me with my support, to help me through those moments when I wanted that cookie, to help me to be like, what do I do? To help me understand how to fuel my body and how to really work out for my body type and my goals. And once I got committed, and you know how I got committed, I paid the money. So plunking down money to do something Oh my gosh, it completely changes the game. Because instead of me being like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat good today and whatever, and like trying to rely on myself, forget about it. It's, I had to like put my money down and say, I'm in the game. I've got skin in the game now. So I am definitely committed. So once I put my money down, once I hired this coach, I was so committed, everything has changed. I mean, and I'm going to share so much more about this because it's amazing. The coach that I work with, her name is Holly Perkins, and she does virtual coaching, and she's amazing, and I'm so inspired by what she does. And it's changed my life because I got committed, and so for the last two weeks, I've been, I track all my food in my fitness pal, and I eat super clean, and she gives me the exact workouts to do, and I go do them because I have her as, to be accountable to, and myself to be accountable to, but, but I have this partner in the experience. So now what I want and what I'm doing to support what I want match. So I'm getting results. I can already see my body's leaning out. I feel better. I have better energy. So I had to go through my own experience of seeing in my life where I wanted this thing, but I wasn't actually doing the commitments to get it. So my question to you is, what are you really committed to? Is it to stay in your fears and your doubts and your limiting beliefs and the reasons you think you can't do something? 
or are you committed to actually reaching this goal of what you want to do? And I, I have something that's really cool that's going to help you so much is that I created a, a four-part video series around how to bust through your limiting beliefs because so much of this process is, is understanding that what blocks you is really this pretty little head up here of yours. <laughs> that's what it is. It's the limiting beliefs that you can't do something or that you're not good enough or that you'll never get your goal. So the more that we can work through the limiting beliefs, and I, can you relate to this? I'm sure you can relate to this because we all have these doubts and fears in our head that hold us back. So this, I have this awesome four-part video series that's how to rock your limiting beliefs, and you, I'll take you through the process of exactly what I do and exactly what I do with my VIP clients to work through those limiting beliefs, those negative voices in the head, the doubts and the fears. And you can go to arianfreebie.com. It's my name, Arian, A-R-R-I-A-N-E, freebie, F-R-E-E-B-I-E.com. And I'll put it in the comments below too. And you can get that free four-part video series so you can actually start the process of busting out of your limiting beliefs so that you can actually start going for what you want, committing for what you want, and working through the limiting beliefs that are keeping you from actually getting it. So I'd love to hear from you. Put in the comments what you're committed to, what you really want to create in life, and I will completely support you in getting there. Um, I check the comments about 72 hours after each video, so just keep commenting, and I will be checking back in to see what's happening, and I support you fully in this journey of blowing out your commitments. All right, Tigers, go get them. Ciao.